Okay, well this screen would let you know that we're gonna learn Bookmobile today. <laughs> this is one of my favorite songs on the new 1st of October album. I needed a guitar with a whammy bar and I have my Travelcaster that I recently got. I have no affiliation with this company. Um, I, I found it online for like 150 bucks. It's already broken. Um, the, this is not, the nut is not on there. Though to Travelcaster's credit, I have been putting it through a tremendous amount of abuse. So I'm sure that some of that is my fault. I gotta tune this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna learn Bookmobile today. This is a pretty simple song. Um, it's one that I actually didn't really like at first and then ended up turning into one of my favorites um, and definitely my mom's favorite. So <laughs> this is a pretty cool tune. So 1st of October, uh, if you're unaware, is our one day a year band. We write and record a whole album in one day, 10 tracks. What you hear on the album is the one and only time we've ever recorded that song all the way through, ever played it all the way through. So I'm sure I'll be a bit rusty, but especially with this tune, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of room for just noise and improvisation, and that's that's part of the vibe. So I think for people trying to learn this song, it's not so much about playing it exactly how it's on the album. It's more, here's what you're going for. Now fail to get there a little bit <laughs> <laughs> intentionally, so that there's some uh, there's some slop to it. That uh, that is part of this sound. All right, let's just go right to the beginning. It starts on the 12th fret of the low E string. <laughs> and we're just going through these three notes. 12th fret, 13th, and then E15. And I slide to the 13th. And then give it some vibrato. And that's the, uh, that's the rhythm, just within those three notes. And there's a little bit of nuance in when I'm palm muting and when I'm not. I always pick hard on that 15th fret and then palm mute. 13th there. That again is just what I happen to do on the album. So it starts with that. And that echoes the main rhythm of the song. And so we bring those same notes, those same root notes down an octave, play two of them in power chords, and then play another one with the open strings, which adds to the messiness. So palm muted power chord, just on the E. So zero, as I think about it, to one power chord. And then for that G note, which is what the bass is playing, the bass is going. And for that G, I actually am just striking the D, G, and B strings open to get a G major and really striking it hard and not being accurate. Um, if you hit the other strings here and there, that slop is part of the uh, craziness and hecticness of the track. So don't be too accurate just like that. And then you get a bit of the lower strings too that are still vibrating, but that noise is, is part of it. So you're doing that same rhythm, but with those three chords. And then this little part is palm muted, zero, one, and then two, three, two on the A string. And really bend that last note. Yeah, that's the chorus, then you play it again. Oh man. And that's the chorus. Let me get this in tune once again. <laughs> and now we're just going to take those same two power chords that we started that with, bring them up an octave, and we're just going from the 13th power chord, just two notes, to the 12th in this rhythm. Palm muted. And some different fills, but there's stuff I put in between those. So we first have the Mario going down the tube sound. <laughs> yeah, that's really a good idea. Yeah, you've never seen anyone do that before? Well, no, I've seen you do, but I'd never heard it called the Mario going down the yeah, pipe. Yeah, yeah, down the tube. Yeah. And the coins. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. And then the second fill is just the low E. You hit the low E and then bring the whammy bar down like that, so. And then you end with bringing that down and that's pretty much the verses. The Mario going down the tubes, I like to mute like here 
and then really dig into the strings. And that's how you get that sound. And that's pretty much the verse. There is a little bit of a fill. But that's just going up and down those notes on the low E string. So very similar to that part of the chorus, but just keeping them straight notes. And then going up a string for that. Those are palm Zero, one. And I believe in the song, there's two guitars and one bass, and they all give up on that at a different time. <laughs> so start it and then just whenever you feel like it, just give up. And then you go back to the verse. And then you go back into the chorus by doing the chorus, but just on single notes in the low E string. Actually, it might even be higher. Yeah, the first time it's up there. And then back to the chorus. And then the, well, thankfully in the verse, the guitar isn't really there. So then it just goes to the bass and you mm -hmm. just do the in-between in -between. sounds. So it, gives, da -da. It, gives, so it gives you time to tune. Yeah, it gives you time to tune. <laughs> <laughs> Get some glue and hopefully it can set by the time the chorus comes back in. The bass holds down the verse. Da -da 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 -da. Mario, Mario, da -da 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 -da. The bridge is something where you really need a whammy bar. And the rhythm, it's, it's just between these two power chords, the E power chord and the first fret F power chord. And the rhythm is this. You just bring in the whammy bar at these times. bunch of noise and then I believe it ends on the chorus where you just use the single note and you just stay here until the very end ending with the low E and the solo it, it uses a lot of whammy pedal so it's not really gonna sound right without that but it just starts with the E and B strings at the top of the guitar just open, whammy, pedal going crazy, first fret bar, and using a bunch of whammy. And then I just go all the way up to just those same notes, E to F. With a bunch of whammy pedal. So what's that, the 17th fret to the 18th? And then I do this bucket head move where I go with the whammy pedal on. So that's my middle finger and my first finger on the 18th and 17th, and I'm tapping them and then pulling off. Pretty fast, let's see if I get it. So you're doing that ridiculously fast. And then on the other side, your finger is just going up the string on the B. And that's that. That one note that you tremolo pick at the top is just an E, just that 17th fret. And that's the solo. It's it's pretty much just a lot of noise. And that's that's the song. It's really, really simple. It's just a lot of little nuance changes to the same idea over and over. I'll play it from the top and see what I got wrong. <laughs> but with 1st of October, there's uh, there's not really a right and wrong way. But with songs like this that are like just really high intensity, rock, distorted guitar, you know, it's more you have a target that you're trying to hit, you know, what notes, and then you purposely miss. And so every time you play it, it's a little bit wrong. And that sloppiness and high energy that sound of like a band on stage that's not playing their instruments perfectly because they're jumping around and interacting with the crowd is part of the sound. So, and it's just more 
and it's just fun to play songs like that because if, if you're playing really precisely, you're doing it wrong. So you can just kind of play sloppily and then you're doing it right. All right, let's see what I got wrong in this song. Okay, those noises are in totally different places, but you play those two different noises. She's rolling down the lake shore, bringing books to all the great fours. Yet the government's a pay for it. Terry in the area, I'm feeling the hysteria. She's rolling down the lake shore, bringing books to all the great fours. Yet the government's a pay for it. Bookmobile, we got some books on where. That, I did just the fifth fret harmonics and the higher strings with the whammy bar, and that's how you get that part. Last chorus, I also forgot that you slide into that third fret. So. And that is all I remember of Bookmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. And also, I just made a new course called Five Songwriting Cheat Codes for Guitar Players, which is up in the Guitario membership. Super proud of that as well. Um, all right, let me get my mouth back in order. Thanks for being a fan of our one day a year band. Oh man. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. <laughs> we really appreciate you. We'll see you next year for the next first of October. <laughs> Replace the nut. Oh, it actually went back. Because oh, I moved the nut back. Uh, it is totally intonation, yeah. <laughs>